Understanding Juggling Combos in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an interesting phrase, juggling combos. This phrase is not just about juggling balls or objects, but it's a metaphor used in various contexts. Let's dive in and understand what it means and how you can use it in your everyday English. Juggling typically refers to the act of continuously tossing objects, usually balls or clubs, into the air and catching them in a sequence. However, in a metaphorical sense, it means handling multiple tasks or responsibilities at once. Combos is short for combinations. In this context, it refers to different sets or sequences of tasks or activities. So, juggling combos together means managing various sets of tasks simultaneously. 1. Work-life balance. 2. Example. As a working parent, I'm always juggling combos of family duties and work responsibilities. 3. Here, the phrase describes handling work tasks and family obligations at the same time. 4. Multitasking in various settings. 5. Example. During the event, the coordinator was juggling combos of organizing, hosting, and problem solving. 6. This shows the coordinator handling multiple aspects of event management simultaneously. 1. Expressing empathy. 2. I see you're juggling combos of tasks. Can I help with anything? 3. This is a way to show understanding and offer help. 4. Self-reflection. 5. I need to get better at juggling combos of my study schedule and social life. 6. Use this to talk about your own multitasking challenges. Juggling multiple balls. Handling several tasks at once. Balancing different responsibilities. Each of these variations conveys a similar meaning but can be used in different contexts. I hope this video helps you understand and use the phrase, juggling combos, in your English conversations. Remember, it's a fun and descriptive way to talk about multitasking and managing various tasks. Keep practicing, and you'll be juggling combos of English phrases in no time. Thanks for watching and see you in our next lesson.